Hi guys, here we are with uh, another nice exponential equation to solve which says how to solve 3 to the power of x squared over 9 to the power of x equals 81. So what, what can we do here? Here let, let us first break down 9 as 3 squared. So we are going to write it as 3 x squared over 9 can be written as 3 squared again we have whole to the power of x is equal to 81 <coughs> and then we're going to apply this law which is a to the power of m whole to the power of n is a to the power of m n the powers whenever you have power to power it gets multiplied so we're going to multiply this two so we have 3 x squared over 3 to the power of 2x is equal to 81. And then what we can do next is <coughs> you have same base and there's division between them. So you can apply this a to the power of m over a to the power of n is equal to same base there's division between them you can subtract the powers m minus n. So here we have 3 to the power of x squared then you have to subtract the other power minus 2x is equal to 81 can be written as 3 to the power of 4 now you have same basis and this equi equal to between them you can equate the powers so we have x squared minus 2x is equal to 4 bring it this side so you have a quadratic equation x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals to 0. Now this is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and a is not equal to 0 as okay so what is the value of a here it's 1 b is negative 2 and c is negative 4 so we can apply uh, the quadratic formula to find the value of x so therefore x is equal to negative b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so this is the quadratic formula now let's substitute the values negative b so we have negative of negative 2 plus or minus under root of b square is negative 2 the whole squared minus 4 a is 1 c is negative 4 over 2 times 1 now let's write it down so you have 2 plus or minus under root of negative 2 the whole squared is 4 minus of minus plus 4 times 4 is 16 over 2 times 1 is 2 4 plus 16 is 20 so I'm going to write this here <coughs> so we have 2 plus or minus under root of 20 over 2 so that's equal to now you can write 20 as under root of 4 times 5 over 2 and square root of 4 as we know it's 2 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 root 5 over 2 now if we take 2 common so we are left with 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 so this 2 and 2 gets cancelled which is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 the value of x so what is the first value of x we have got 1 plus square root of 5 and the second value of x is 1 minus square root of 5 so here are the two solutions for x thank you so much for joining do let me know if you have any suggestions in the comment box um, and take care. Bye-bye.